Well, it's not something you would expect in a pandemic, but the numbers of illegal immigrants crossing into West Texas is growing, and the Valentine area is a hot spot. Jane, Dana Morris joins us now with the details. Well, Crystal, the outskirts of the city of Valentine are only about 20 miles from the border of Mexico, but it is dangerous and rugged terrain out there. Even so, CBP officials tell me that transnational crime organizations use routes within that area to try to smuggle in immigrants. Now, that kind of traffic can be deadly and dangerous to Americans. So Homeland Security is doing everything they can to try to intercept this activity. What we're concerned with especially is in the Valentine area is we've got transnational criminal organizations who are pushing large groups through the area. Last week, Border Patrol agents arrested more than 100 illegal immigrants in Valentine, Texas in just 48 hours. One group was as large as 50 people and they were all being smuggled into the United States. To be frank, it's a, it's a dangerous area and especially at this time of the year with the cold weather and extreme temperatures, uh, people that are not familiar with the area being pushed um, to their physical limitations. Agents say this increase in traffic has them at an all-hands-on-deck approach. We're trying to protect the American people, and we don't know where these folks are coming from. And if they have been exposed to COVID, um, it could be detrimental to the United States population. In just this fiscal year, from October through December, across the entire southwest border, there have been 85,000 more illegal immigrant encounters than the previous year. And sadly for some, this smuggling attempt ends up deadly. Use and abuse them. They take their money, they take their resources, they push them to the extreme, and if for some reason they slow down the group or become some type of problem, they will leave them without thinking twice. CBP agents tell us while they're making progress and seeing an increase in apprehensions, the goal is to save these people's lives before the elements, the wild or worse, gets to them. And some of them, you know, have to be treated for exposure, dehydration, malnutrition, uh, etc. So we obviously always look at that first and make sure that we're addressing their humanitarian needs and then we'll deal with the law enforcement later. And like any law enforcement agency, tips can go a long way. Now, the Customs Border Protection has a 24-7 hotline that is available. I've went ahead and put that number in this story on our website on NewsWest9.com. Reporting in West Texas, Dana Morris.